so students let us have some uh, numericals on this chapter metal cutting so let us see the first numerical <music> In an orthogonal turning operation, the cutting speed is given as 80 meter per minute, cutting force as 200 newton, feed force as 80 newton. The given feed is 0.2 millimeter per revolution, chip thickness is 0.4 millimeter, and break angle is 15 degree. Then determine the following shear angle, shear strain shear force right these three things we have to determine so let us see the given things what is given see uncut chip thickness is nothing but the feed in a orthogonal turning operation which is t1 is equal to 0.2 mm then the cut chip thickness or deformed chip thickness given as 0.4 millimeter so based on this we can calculate the chip thickness ratio r which is t1 upon t2 is equal to 0.5 now the first thing we can calculate very easily because alpha is given with us 15 degree the shear angle is nothing but tan phi is equal to r cos alpha divided by 1 minus r sin alpha right see here so tan phi is equal to r is 0.5 alpha is 15 put the values you will get phi is equal to 29 degree then the shear strain second bit shear strain is we know very well this is equal to cot 5 plus tan of 5 minus alpha 5 we just now calculated alpha is 15 degree put the values you get the shear strain as 2.05 and the last bit they are asking the shear force here for calculation of shear force we are not having any shear area we are not having any shear strength of the material but still we can calculate the shear force we know from the merchant's diagram, merchant analysis, the various forces, the actual forces and these are the measurable forces. We know the relation between actual force and measurable force. We are given the cutting force and feed force. So based on that we can have the relation Fs is equal to Fc cos phi minus Ft sin phi. So Fc is 200 Newton given and phi we calculated as 29 degree put the values Ft is 80 and we will get the shear force as 136.13 right. Let us take another example. So in orthogonal cutting of material the feed force is 800 Newton and cutting force is 1500 Newton. Calculate the shear angle, shear force and coefficient of friction. Take R as 0.3 and alpha back rake angle as 8 degree. So see given things again very simple. Fc is 8, 1500 Newton, Ft is 800 Newton, R is given as 0.3 and back rake angle is given as 8 degree. So we can get here the shear angle phi after putting the values we will get shear angle 570 degree shear force just now we calculated as fs is equal to fc cos phi minus ft sin phi put the value of fc ft and phi 17 degree we will get the shear force as 1200 newton and the third bit they are asking the coefficient of friction we know coefficient of friction is nothing but tan of friction angle beta and it can be calculated from the merchant's diagram we know the formula Fc tan alpha plus Ft divided by Fc minus Ft tan alpha. Very simple. Put the value Fc, Ft and alpha. You will get the coefficient of friction mu as 0.73. Okay. Let us take one more example on the tool life. Okay. So, here a tool life of 80 minute is obtained at speed of 30 meter per minute. Okay and 8 minute at 60 meter per minute determine the following a tool life equation b cutting speed for 4 minute tool life so see here friends what is given so we are having the cutting velocity v1 30 meter per minute 
for that cutting velocity we are getting two life t1 as 80 meter any 80 meters okay so this is for tool one and for tool two we are getting the eight minutes of tool life for velocity cutting velocity of 60 meter per minute so see here for v v1 30 meter per minute t1 80 minutes and v2 60 meter per minute t2 8 minutes so we know that taylor's equation is given as v t to the power n is equal to constant yes or no so we can write it as v1 t1 to the power n is equal to v2 t2 to the power n is equal to constant from that we know v1 t1 v2 t2 from that we can cal calculate this index n taylor's exponent right it can be 0.3 if you calculate it will be 0.3 n is equal to 0.3 so very important we can get this equation see the first bit they are asking what is the equation of this okay so we got here v t to the power n is 0.3 we calculated is equal to constant okay now they are asking what is the cutting velocity for the tool life of four minute right so now it is again very simple thing we can have comparison for either v2 t2 to the power n is equal to v3 t3 to the power n or v1 t1 to the power n is equal to v3 t3 to the power n right so take any of the thing because you know so here v3 is unknown right v1 t1 is known n is known now so here now you can calculate the v3 v3 as 73.7 meter per minute please calculate you will get the answer so these are the simple numericals on this topic metal cutting you can practice more and more thank you